For this problem, you're going to have to do chain rule on both sides of the equation. The reason why is because this first problem here, you have something inside that's not a single variable. So whenever you have multiple terms inside parentheses like that, that's when you have to do a chain rule. So we're going to do the outside function and multiply it by derivative of the inside. Now we have to do that also to the sine y, and the reason why is because in this case the y, we don't know what it is, but whenever you have a y like that inside something, you got to do chain as well. And that's where you end up getting this dy dx when you do that. So we'll derivative the, do the uh, derivative of the outside, then times the derivative of the inside. Let's first start with the left hand side. We're going to use the power rule, so the 2 is going to come down. We get 2xy plus 3, subtract 1 from the power and you get a 1 there. But you have to multiply this by the derivative of what's inside the parentheses. Now if you take a look at what's inside the parentheses, we have two different things multiplied together. We have a 2x multiplied by a y. So we're going to do the product rule for the inside part. Now the 3, derivative of 3 is going to go away, so we don't need to worry about that. That's going to be 0. So let's just focus on this part. So we've done the outside. We brought the 2 down. We have this part. But now we have to do the derivative of the inside, which will do the derivative of 2xy, requires the product rule. We're going to do the first thing. We have 2x times the derivative of the second. The derivative of y is dy dx. Whenever you have a y by itself, derivative is dy dx. Plus the second thing, plus the y, times the derivative of the first. In this case, the derivative of the first term, the derivative of 2x, is just going to be 2. So that's what you, what you get when you do the derivative of the inside. Now let's take a look at the right hand side. The derivative of sine is cosine, so you have, so at the right, the y, so we're going to do cosine y, but then we're going to multiply it by the derivative of y, which in that case is dy dx. Outside term, derivative of sine is cosine, cosine y, times the derivative of the inside, dy dx. Did the same thing on the left hand side, 2 came down to the 1, all this here is the derivative of the inside. Remember, the derivative of 3 is 0. That's why you don't see that part there. We only did basically the product rule with 2xy. Now we have this complete. What we have to do is solve for dy dx. So I need to get anything that has dy dx in it. I want to have that on one side of the equation. So unfortunately, I'm going to have to do some multiplying with this one because I want to create separate terms that, so that way I can move them across the equal sign if I have to. So I'm actually going to FOIL all this together and multiply it. So I'm going to multiply the 2 times all this first, get that out of the way, so 4xy plus 6, and then we're going to multiply it by this, so I have, let's rewrite this again, and I'll write this as a, a 2y. I'm not going to do anything with the right hand side, I don't have to at this point because I already have that as its own term there, dy dx term. Now we're going to do a FOIL. So we do first times this one. When I multiply this, I have a 4 times x times y times 2 times x. I really have six different things I'm multiplying together because there's six different variables there. I'm going to multiply the like variables one at a time. Okay, so 4 times 2, I can multiply that and I can get 8. I have x times x is x squared. The y I can't do anything with, and the dy dx I can't do anything with, and so that's what you would look like when you multiply that together. Now let's do 4xy times 2y. Okay, I get another 8 again. X, there's nothing to multiply that with, and then y times y is y squared. That's it, I can't do any more with that one. So I've done first term times this, first term times this. Now I'm going to do 6 times this, that's going to be plus 12x dy dx. And then I have 6 times 2y is 12y. Nothing, I can, nothing more I can do uh, with that. So I've multiplied it, folded it all out. I still have this other term over here, cosine y dy dx. We want to get all the dy dx's on one side. We already have two of them here, this one and this one, so we can keep those together on one side, and we're going to move the cosine over. 
So I have 8x squared y dy dx, and I have the 12x dy dx, and I'm going to bring across, across the equal sign the cosine, so if I bring it across, it becomes negative, and the cosine y dy dx. What happens to the other ones? Those are going to go across the equal signs. So anything that does not have dy dx, we write that on the other side of the equation. So I'm going to subtract the 8xy squared, and I'm also going to subtract the 12y. We purposely put all these on one side of the equation because you always do the same technique. You'll be seeing this happen on several problems in this section. We want to get them all together so we can factor out the dy dx. So all three terms will come into turn into a single variable. So dy dx, okay, we'll uh, factor it out. So we're going to do 8x squared y plus 12x minus cosine y. So all we're doing here is we're just factoring it out first and then we'll divide to get the answer. This on the right hand side didn't change, that's all the same. So all I'm doing is factoring out the like term, factoring out dy dx. Now I have this. What I'll do now is divide both sides by what's inside the parentheses and that's finally going to allow us to get the answer so I'm going to have to erase these up here so I have some space to write the answer, dy dx. Okay, so I have this, this part right here is going to be divided by this part. So this part stays on top, negative 8xy squared minus 12y, dividing it by everything you see inside the parentheses. So 8x squared y plus 12x minus cosine, and then that would be the answer. Uh, you could factor out the top, it's not really going to help you very much. The bottom one you can't factor because you have different terms. You can't cross cancel. So because of that, this uh, would be as far as you can go with your answer. Nothing more we can do to simplify that any further.